Hello everyone. Welcome back to the third part of the video. Those who haven't watched the first two part, I would highly recommend doing so. The link of the first part you can find in the description below. So now let's go to our setup. I want to use four cores, double precision, start. Now I have opened our case Influent. So let's set up our simulation case over here and run one of the simulation and then Let's see how we can do for we can do parametric analysis. So go to the units because I always prefer to use temperature in Celsius. So I'm used converting Kelvin into Celsius. In general, so it is steady state. So I'm not activating gravity steady state pressure based. So in model, I am using KS SST as default. I want to activate energy equation. Then let's define material. Fluid is air. So I, I want to use water as fluid. So for fluent database, we can copy water. So water liquid, copy and close. This solid material is aluminum as it is now. Let's assign those material to cell zones. So Fluent has automatically recognized our fluid region. So let's assign to fluid water, apply solid. Uh, these are aluminium. So because we have only one material in solid, so it means to both these uh, cell zone, same solid material would have been assigned. So now let's go to boundary condition. At inlet, let's uh, give a velocity of uh, 2 meter per second and uh, water is uh, entering at uh, 40 degree Celsius. And uh, then outlet, we don't need to do outlet, but at the wall, we have a convection lower wall and convection upper. So let's uh, define uh, some heat transfer coefficient at this wall. So we want to use convection as a boundary condition. Let's say 100 watt per square meter per Kelvin and uh, the ambient temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. Close. We can copy the same condition from uh, one wall to another. So I have defined to the lower wall so I can copy this one to these walls so that I want to copy to this one. So here from boundary zone to boundary zone. So I want to copy this boundary condition to these boundary conditions. So copy, yes and close. So it is a really fast way. So you can define only one condition then you can copy same to all of those if you have same boundary condition or same wall condition for multiple walls. For example, you can see over here, it has uh, now same boundary condition as the other wall. Close. Now define one of the report definition because we want to see the pressure at the outlet, the pressure we did not define but by default the pressure at the outlet is zero gauge pressure zero pascal it means uh, we want to see what would be the pressure at inlet for that we will define a report definition surface area weighted average how to use report definition i have a detailed video on this one so you can check that out i will provide the link for that one in the comment below so inlet pressure pressure uh, total pressure and we want to check at the outlet uncheck these two and create outlet pressure so i'm not going into the detail you can check out that video so just uh, yeah for the for the sake of this video, so we are defining out inlet pressure as an output parameter. It means we can see how this inlet pressure would change with the meshing. So click OK. For example, now if you 
go to the workbench as you can see here we have this uh, one input parameter and we have these two output parameters so it means whenever we will change this element size so after simulation we will get these two results over here so anyway and then in monitor uh, we are not going to okay let's change residual for energy it is always good practice to use at least 10 is per minus 8 or 9 because uh, at 10 is per minus 6 uh, there are uh, it is not fully converged or it can still vary half a degree or something anyway that uh, you can learn this with practice so I think uh, we have defined everything. Yes. Then uh, in calculation, you can define number of iteration. Okay. Let's define 500. Can initialize. It is initializing. And now after initialize, close this one. Close application. So now we can define different design points so with different element size and we can run all those simulation at once outside this uh, fluent environment so now we have fully defined our simulation case and now we can define different design point and run all of these uh, simulation outside fluent environment for example uh, I have already run the simulation so I know at which element size it would converge so but anyway for example i want to run this simulation at 1 millimeter 0 0.8 0 0.6 0 0.45 0 0.4 0 0.3 uh, and so on so i'm not going to run all of these so but let's run only one simulation so right click so if you want to run only one simulation right click and update selected design point so it is updating so it will run only this simulation and uh, we can check the progress of this simulation for that come here on this project tab right click on your simulation and show solution monitoring and this solution tab would appear here in this uh, solution tab you can monitor your solution so I'm not going to run all of these simulation as I already did run all these simulations so I can show you the results so here you can see we have element size mesh element and input pressure so I have run all these simulation and here are the results so I have plotted results between mesh element and inlet pressure so here are the results so these are mesh elements and here are these results and these mesh elements corresponds to number of elements corresponds to this element size so it means after this uh, 10,000 elements uh, which are here so after 10,000 elements so uh, there is no app noticeable change in this uh, simulation so it might change little bit but uh, it is always a compromise how much accuracy do you need and how much computational power you need so in my opinion this point uh, is good enough uh, for the simulation so uh, if i would be running simulation i will i will not go higher than these number of elements for further studies so it means after this one the pressure at the inlet is not changing so after this one this solution is not dependent on the mesh refinement so that's how you can set up your case and uh, you can run your simulation so meanwhile this simulation has also finished so you can see it has nicely converging and the uh, solution is converged uh, here is your inlet pressure so you can run all these simulation but uh, as i said i already run all these simulations so i'm not going to run again but i will open this results and i will show you how it looks like i have run only one simulation so with the right click so if you want to run if you want to run a specific design point right click 
and say update selected design point. But if you want to run all these simulation so on this uh, top left corner, just click update all design point and it will run all these design point at the screen. So it means now we can open our solution. If you don't want to lose your result, always open from solution. Do not open your setup. If you will open setup, so it will not uh, load results, so it will load only setup. So you will lose your solution. I have opened our results, so let's see how our pressure field look like. For that, go to the plot. And ah, sorry, graphic contour. You can give it a name, whatever you like. So I'm not going to give it a name. Pressure and I want to see total pressure and to see all of these surfaces. So save display. And that's how our pressure field look like. So here you can see some lower pressure region. So it, so here some kind of vertex is because some kind of vertex is generating because here flow, flow is separating from the wall. So that's why you are getting some low pressure region over here. But anyway, I'm not going into the detail of the, these results. And so that's how you can see display your results. And that's how the temperature looks like. But anyway, so that's it for this tutorial for this video and in the next video i will talk about the geometric parameterization so how you can use your uh, geometry your, this parametric analysis for the variation in geometry so thank you for thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next video